What's good, YouTube? So today we have another market watch. Now, some people in these market watches tell me, John, I don't care about the hollowed out cards. John, just do the cheap cards, do the cheap versions, do all these things. Well, typically I scroll through everything and explain everything uh, the, to the best of my ability. But today we're going to talk about some more hollowed up versions of certain cards. And there will be some cards that are their base version. So let's talk about it. We got DT Trish, the lowest near mint to 180 on TCG player. The uh, ultimate being another hollowed out option is only 50. But everybody who's really fond of the DT, the uh, rarest version to exist. And the secrets are still only uh, 25 for uh, Unlimited HA and 30 for High Speed Riders, interestingly more. But that's the huge story. $150 for a DT Trish. It's just continuously going up. People are going to figure out how to play Trish in more decks. It's a uh, Water Dragon. It's going to do really, really well. And um, over here we have it at $150 cheapest on eBay. So you save, uh, what's that, 30 bucks while this one lasts? But realistically, DT Trish is just skyrocketing to be one of the most expensive cards that was easier to get a while ago. Now, different Dimension Ground. This is a uh, base copy. $13.50. Now, everything from Star Strike Blast seems to eventually become money if it was playable. So, Different Dimension Ground is a really good trap card. During this turn, any monster sent to the graveyard is removed from play instead. Well, uh, that's really relevant against decks like Mermels and Heroes that are trying to like send stuff to the graveyard and get extra effects. And also against ABC during their turn, it can shut off their entire turn because they're not going to want to go forward and lose their uh, ability to have a buster. So it's a one turn macro. And it's for both players though. So you have to be careful how you play it. But generally, it's just really good as a hard counter to where your opponent's trying to go. And we see there's only one even on eBay, period, in English. And it's $15. So you're saving a little money right now, but there's a whole quantity of one. It's basically bought out everywhere. Uh, you're lucky if you already have your copies. And might be time to sell them, though. It's... It's even though it's an STBL card, and we've seen ones like Vanity's Emptiness go to 30, I don't think it has the same practicality as a Vanity's Emptiness. Ancient Fairy Dragon has been seeing a lot more playing decks and a lot more hype. And the first dead Ghost Rares, as always, are super hard to find. $55 lowest. Over here, uh, we see 59, 59.95, so 60. And when that one sells out, there are other another 55. So there's three 55s over here and then a 60. So it's looking like that Ancient Fairy Dragon and hollowed out versions of cards, their utility just gets overemphasized and gets really up there because not only is it, a, is it a collector's card, it sees play. So these two factors combined, lately, ever since D and I just spikes the card way harder than it used to spike it. But... It seems to stay there. It seems to not really come back down to earth. So, Ghost Rares, of course, aren't being printed anymore, really. And this being a Ghost Rare and an Iconic card, maybe it's kind of earned that price of 50 Now, we see Imperial Iron Wolf. The Supers are $11 lowest. What's going on here? I actually don't know... Other than Infernalite hype is happening, so maybe this is counter hype. It does uh, stop ABC Buster from going online and the pieces from removing from Graveyard. There's a lot of possibilities here on why this is spiked so much. But we see uh, Ultras, another hollowed out version, and uh, all, the, all these are light played for some reason. Played, 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 played. The, the lowest mint one on here is $4 something. So uh, all hollowed versions seem to be 5 plus. There's two copies. They use the wrong picture. Maybe it looks like. I can't really tell. But uh, it doesn't really look super on that picture. And they have them for fives. And then the next lowest uh, is also 5 something. Then it climbs to 8. Oh, this is 6. So then it climbs to 8. And then it climbs to 10 real fast. So people trying to get rid of theirs. I, I'm guessing there was some sort of buyout. But the thing is, 
this card it was easily accessible just a bit ago like super anti-spell anti-spell however was readily available to everybody and uh for just a little bit and then and now everybody's already asking for another reprint or for it to be banned now iron wall is completely different because you have a lot of different versions that were common and structure decks so it's really weird to see this go up to 10 and uh of course, these are people wanting to sell it now. Once these three are gone, it's back to 10 over here. And it's lowest of 11 something over here. And uh, it just doesn't feel right because the commons are just dollars. And the ultra being five kind of makes sense. Uh, it's always floated between two to five. So that's like its maximum price that it's been. I really don't know how to feel about that one. Uh, it does hit a lot of decks. ABC it hits Infernoid coming up. I just don't see it being worth. Now, Rhapsody and Berserk, I do see at $5. Like, I could see the Super Iron Wall at $5, but uh, Rhapsody's been used a lot more lately in ABCs, and we should have seen this coming. I didn't see it coming, or I would have bought a ton, or, or at least tried to. It's really hard to get OP packs and, uh, and Astral packs in high quantities, but Rhapsody here is at five bucks and that's because he's really good in abcs against abcs so basically with abcs you do your tag out and you uh you get rid of their buster or they tag it out you make rhapsody you remove two of their abs or c's and it's just really good and you can usually equip to something and over here we see that it's 550 lowest so five dollars for your lowest reason we see tcg during this market watch is kind of a lot cheaper and I know a lot of these aren't exciting. It's a lot of Astral Pack. It's a lot of OP Pack. It's a lot of uh, DT. Maybe a lot of you guys can't afford that. Not to insult my viewer base, but I'm not buying any DT Trishulas. Uh, I'll be happy with a Secret Rare. Or if I'm lucky to trade up to an Ultimate Rare, that'd be cool. But that's not where I'd like to spend my money. I'd rather uh, get a new kind of equipment set up than do that, which I just did. Now... Let's talk about some starter deck exclusive cards. Eternal Soul is 573 trending downward, which is weird because Forever Dark Renewal was about $8, and this just seems so much more playable. It does a lot for the Dark Magician deck. It was the one that was supposed to bring it to the forefront. And uh, it's only 6 bucks ish a little less, actually, because we have multiple uh, people selling it. 3, 3, 1, 1. Always look at the quantities. And over here we have uh, the lowest at 6, 97 sold. So uh, people could have come save some quarters, but what's the point, I guess, of saving a quarter? I value my money uh, when I'm swiping PayPal, but it's always worth it to look at both, in my opinion. And this could have been the lowest at 1.2. Uh, it's just, it's crazy. Actually, it looks like uh, LDK2. I have it wrong. So, uh, five lowest. My bad. Whoops, I don't know how that guy sold so many. Was he the lowest at one point? Uh, five. So, it's actually beat solidly on eBay. TCG taking the hit there. And let's talk about Dark Renewal now. Uh, Dark Renewal, uh, lowest near mint is $6 as well. Definitely not as good of a card. It's, uh... It depends when your opponent normal or special summons a monster. Target one of those monsters and a spell type, spellcaster type monster you control. Send both monsters to the graveyard and you can special summon a dark spellcaster type monster from your deck or graveyard. Now the deck thing is kind of cool. And it is very reactive and it's decent. But this card just outweighs it by far. Uh, so it's interesting to see that they kind of retain the same price. This is kind of more of an anime effect. And while we're talking about Dark Magicians... Let's go ahead and look at this. A lot of people have this in their binder and they don't know that it's worth this much. Uh, I accidentally, accidentally, I'm sorry if it was you, I traded for it at $5. And uh, that's because I like putting these in my collection box. I actually have a lot of them. Uh, I have a box where I like to put things and never look at them again until I like want to go, remember these cards? Like, I, I really like my my jump promos and hobby league stuff that are typically cheap and don't go up like this but uh that's a 12 dollars damaged one and here we see the lowest near mint is 16 on here 
But you can save yourself a little bit if you're trying to max out the rarity at 1350 over here for this altar art. But definitely a really cool altar art of Dark Magician. Uh, I've always enjoyed kind of getting jump promos, Hobby League things. Things that don't really change in price but are reminiscent of the old days. And so I just wanted to tell people, if you have this in your binder, you got a little more than you probably thought you did. And the same with these starter deck cards because... A lot of people just get the starter deck and they have this in their trade binder. And they don't know that they got a $6 bill in there. They they probably just thought they have some janky Dark Magician card. So, I hope you all enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I tried to do a bit of a mix of maybe you didn't know this was money. And then a mix of these rares are really hype. And uh, just the super rares in general are going up at an extremely kind of, what would you call it, accelerated rate? And this accelerated rate is kind of a little alarming. So, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, as always, I'll have some more Market Watches for you to come.